Now, would you like to tell us who you are and a little bit about yourself? Okay. Um, I, uh, my name is Marta Figueras Dotti. I am an ex-professional golfer, player, who uh, played on the LPGA for uh, 19, 20 years, something like that. And then uh, in 2001, I came back to Spain and I started working as the coach for the national team and the national school and a few uh, professional golfers and uh, you know just uh, involved in golf really mostly and all my life. Right Marta, so who or what have been the biggest influences in your career? Um, definitely my dad, he's the one who taught me how to play golf. Uh, I started at age seven and uh, my my pro, my coach, Pepe Gallardo, who uh, he took me under his wing when I was uh, 12 and uh, has been by my side all my career. Even as a coach, he was the coach also of the national team, so um, I learned a lot from him um, earlier in my years and later in my years. And what's been your most memorable moments so far in golf? I think probably the, the victory of the Women's British Open in 1982. Uh, it was a royal birthday and I was still an amateur. I think that was probably the most memorable moment. Now, if you could only play one course for the rest of your life, which would it be and why? Oh, wow. Well, I have to tell you, I, I have a lot of good feeling and energy at Mission Hills in California where they play the Anna Inspiration now, it was used to call the Nabisco. Um, I think it was it's the surroundings, the energy that you feel there, uh, the views, the conditions and uh, I don't know how to tell you but it just it feels energy. It gives me good energy. That's a good choice then. Now, if you had the power to change one rule, which would it be? <sighs> That's a tough one. You can get... No, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know. Um, I like all the rules of golf. I wouldn't change anything. Okay. No, you're allowed not to. Yeah, no. Okay. How would you speed up the game? Oh, God, yes. I would. <laughs> you can't. It's like nowadays you have so many coaches. It's like if people have the, you know, the the, the technical coach, the mental coach, the physical coach, the routine coach, the, <laughs> the strategy golf course management co coach. It's like you have to think so many things. I would just, uh, you know, I would I would do a seminar on how to let the body control the player instead of the mind and stop thinking and start playing golf like we used to when we were kids and when when I was still a professional golfer and we didn't take us but you know four hours to play golf so I would do that very good what's your biggest regret so far in the game my biggest regret is not knowing or yeah not knowing what I know now about the game and about the golf swing and especially the mental aspect back then when I played uh, so I think I would have performed a lot better for many more years and what annoys you on the golf course oh, people that are annoying and that they don't talk to you <laughs> and slow play annoys me on the golf course but mostly mostly people that get upset about a golf shot and they are you know they they aggressiveness and they don't throw clubs or they get really pissed about their performance that annoys me the most okay i might have to edit out that last word okay okay no don't worry i won't okay. now what non-golfing achievement are you most proud of Having a child. The lovely Nicholas. Yes, my lovely Nicholas. <laughs> yes, that's lovely. Now, I know you're the um, coach to the Spanish Olympic team, aren't you? That is right. Yes. So what, in your opinion, would be a good format for Olympic golf? I think, the, I think you have to have singles, like 
there is right now, but I think it would have been nice if you had single, uh, you know, singles format like like we have right now and a team format. I mean, it's all about, you know, it's all about teams in, in representing your country. But since in the Olympics and in the golf game, we only have two players per country, uh, I think it would have been nice to have a medal for team play, definitely. Well, Marta, that's lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you.